Strike Force Entertainment brings you Luftwaffe Fighters of the Second World War, which give an in-depth look at the ME109 and its devastating annihilation of the Polish Air Force after the declaration of war in 1939. Though technically brilliant, the ME109 suffered many problems. The RAF managed to capture one and test it. Unbelievable footage from the Imperial War Museum shows the captured German fighter in blistering action. Messerschmitt also tried a new concept in fighters with its twin-engine MEBF110 and ME210, which could be converted from fighter to light bomber. And it also boasted two remote-control rear-firing guns either side of the fuselage. The Imperial War Museum has provided unique film of this accident-prone aircraft. However, the ME410 was a great improvement. Luftwaffe fighters of the Second World War has rare color footage of this unique aircraft. The Focke-Wulf 190 is legendary. Again, the vaults of the Imperial War Museum have provided stunning footage of a captured FW-190 in the hands of the Royal Air Force. German Luftwaffe bombers with names such as Junkers, Heinkel and Dornier brought fear and trepidation to the hearts and minds of the civilized world in the late 1930s and early 1940s. Luftwaffe bombers of the Second World War gives a detailed look the twin-engine Junkers Ju-88, and brand new footage from the Imperial War Museum puts us right in the cockpit during a stunning engine failure sequence. Heinkel's HE-111 bomber also boasts very detailed cockpit sequences, demonstrating the latest German bomb site of the time. The HE-111 Swilling was a five-engine creation and was used to tow Germany's giant gliders. Also featured is the HE-177 four-engine heavy bomber. Unusually, the engines were paired together and drove one propeller each, giving the appearance of a twin-engined aircraft. The screaming Junkers Ju-87 Stuka dive bomber is prominently featured in Luftwaffe bombers of the Second World War. Both the A and B type models are looked at in great detail with stunning graphics and new footage from the Imperial War Museum. The Dornier DO-17 and DO-217 complete this exceptional look at one of the most feared bomber forces in history.